A&E Resource, Advanced Trauma Team 2 A&E Resource. It's specialist and it's working. Units like this major trauma centre at the Royal London in Whitechapel have been running at four hospitals in the capital since 2010. He, he, have to, he does need to come okay. into critical care at the moment. You know, we... These major trauma centres are at the tip of a network treating the most seriously injured patients. They'll sometimes be taken past their nearest hospital to get to the specialist care. Tom Locke will tell you how well it works. Able to look out from the helipad at King's College Hospital these days, Last October, he was flown in on the air ambulance. This shows you top to bottom that your injuries. Tom had fallen from a roof and broke his leg, his arm, his wrist, his shoulder and every bone in his face. It was daily uh, visits, uh, consultations, um, uh, scans, operations, um, conversations to discuss all my, my uh, range of injuries. Um, yeah, and I felt totally safe, secure and uh, confident in, in everything that was being done to me. And then obviously you went through subsequent operations. We are now saving across the networks in England over 595 patients a year that would otherwise have died uh, from their injuries and Tom undoubtedly would have been one of those patients. Karen Brohe heads up London's trauma network a network that saves lives, as today's research has shown, but also means patients have better lives after their injuries. What we've done essentially is we've put in place a system where everybody gets the best care that we know that they can get at the moment. But still, if you're you know, really severely injured, your chances of making it, even at a place like this, may be less than 50%. And we know that we can bring to bear innovation, research, new ways of thinking to the care of injury so that we can reduce those figures. These teams and others like them across London have achieved much. They intend to do much more.